Hello guys and welcome to Back to Glory here with Liverpool. You've not missed anything as you'll see up in that top right hand corner there. Yes, we are straight into uh, another game against Real Madrid after obviously um, we, uh, the last episode didn't go how we'd liked it to go. Um, we've got a lot of work to do here at Anfield and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, we can get the job done. But it's still going to be a tough as you, as you saw. We just... I don't know, just switched off for a couple of those goals, didn't we? And um, yeah, Real Madrid obviously capitalised and you can't switch off against a, a team of their quality. So we've got to be on it tonight. We've got to get the crowd like, you know, like, you know, behind us and, and really going for this and um, try and get ourselves into that final. Anyway, yeah, and we've also got a game against Tottenham. Um, as you can see over on the left-hand side here, where the, obviously where the, the, the Premier League table is, um, yeah, fighting for that fourth spot or maybe even higher to, to, to to be, to be honest, it's quite close for those Champions League places, obviously behind ourselves. And um, we're going to try and obviously keep that unbeaten record. But, you know, it's going to be tough. Yeah, two tough games yet again um, in today's episode. But without further ado, let's get into the game against Real Madrid. So just before we do, it's going to be PSG that is going to be in the final. Yes, they've got to the final. So um, Mr. Mbappe and Neymar there, obviously on the score sheet. Mbappe, to be honest, I'm actually trying to sign, possibly. It's going to cost a lot of money, um, but I just feel that that key sort of signing for next season will be like, you know, a boost um, to the players and stuff like that. Um, looking at possibly like, you know, trying to sign him or whatever, but we'll see how that one goes. Um, and as you can see, Cristiano Ronaldo is still kicking and going like I mean what is he now he's 38 years of age but he's still able to bang two goals in a semi-final of a Champions League which isn't bad is it really but yeah as you can see a very close tie that one finishing 5-3 in the end overall for PSG so that is who our potential you know opponents could be but we've got the small task like I say of getting past the Real Madrid so here are the two lineups going into this one. We've got Allison in goal. We've got our like, you know, a, a, a solid back four of um, Trent, Andy, Luis Felipe, and Joe Gomez. We've got Fabinho and Henderson are going to sit in that midfield with Hendo obviously taking the captain's armband. Armada is going to be in the cam. Marnie out on the left, Anthony on the right, and then Bobby's going to lead the line up top. As for um, Real Madrid, yeah, it's it's. A couple of change is it a couple of change. Casemiro coming in, Bernardo Silva. I thought they weren't playing as far as they were. Oh, Christian Edson has come in instead of um, Sergio Ramos alongside Varane. They've also, I think, changed the two fullbacks. But it looks like Martinez and Mafeo has come in there. Um, so um, interesting, interesting sort of like you know change there. Courtois actually got the the captain's armband. I would have thought maybe. Varane might have had it, like, you know, or even maybe even possibly Eden Hazard or even Casemiro, but, but there we go. Um, yeah, it's still going to be tough, as you can see. Look at their look at their front three. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty strong um, going forward, aren't they? Like, um, we've, got to, we've got to just got to, like, like I say, I think if we can get the crowd behind us, um, we've, got a, we've got a good chance of, of getting through. So here we are, European night to Anfield. It's always such a huge buzz. Can this crowd, like, get us across the finish line? So there was absolutely no highlights to show you in that first half at all. There was just nothing, um, which is not good. We've done nothing. Um, Real Madrid are doing what they have set out to do. Like, you know what I mean? They are basically holding on, uh, not holding on. I mean, they've got a 2-0 advantage. As you can see, not many shots in that game at all. They are controlling a little bit more of possession, but they are sitting a little bit deeper. Um, I don't know. We've, got, we've done nothing, which is like not good for us at all. We've got to do much better in the second half. So we'd actually get a highlight at last as it's put into the box and we have pulled the goal back. Um, it is that man again, Joe Gomez, that has managed to get on the header. It's Almada putting this free kick in and Joe is there coming in. I don't know what Courtois was doing there. He, he just came out of his goal, was in absolutely no man's land, um, leaving an, an empty net for Joe to obviously um, head into. Um, but yeah, what is Courtois done there? I do not know. But we I got back into it. It's, it. We need to get another one though. Like, you know what I mean? Um, but we may get one here. Is it possible as um, Almada? 
Armada has picked this one up. Felipe now um, pushing this one forward to find Jordan Henderson. He's got Fabinho just to the side of him, but he decides to flick it out here to, to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Can he get into the box? He can't. It's blocked. But um, Fabinho has managed to pick this one up. He's being forced back here. Good pressure from Real Madrid. Obviously, they are like, you know, determined to like, you know, sit on this, like, you know, this result. But Robertson puts this one across. Bobby Firmino, he had a great opportunity, but it was blocked. So we're at the seventy minute mark and it's, it's we've got to, we've got to try and find the second goal. Uh, making two changes, Bobby just having an absolute terrible game. So Lotaro Martinez has come on there, and also Anthony not having the best of games. So Marco Asensio is actually going to come on on that right hand side, um, see if he can maybe do something against his former employers. So here we are with Varane on the ball, playing things out from the back. Courtois goes long out here, finds Coman, Kingsley Coman, who's come on. And we've got to try and get the ball off these like, you know, Real Madrid players. But at the moment, um, they are controlling the ball very well. Everything's like going in their favour at the moment. As Valverde now just like knocks this to Casemiro. They're knocking this around well. We've got to get the ball off them as Maffeo now is surging to the box. We're not making any sort of a ch chance there. And Dybala, luckily for us, was a, it was a weak shot. We picked up an injury. It's Trent Alexander Arnold with 10 minutes to go as a picked up a knock. Um, hmm. So Lowen is going to come on. Gomez is going to move out onto that right hand side. It's a, it's, it's an enforced substitution, which I, I didn't want. I wanted to make obviously other changes, you know, um, like one, you know, significant change, but now it's been forced upon us. Um, yeah, come on. Let's see if um, we can do this. Corner ball, Asensio puts this one in, not able to get on the end of it. And Kingsley Coman now can make a break here for Real Madrid. They've not really done much in the attacking sense, but, you know, just getting it down this end. Oh, there's a challenge there, which is a, a, not a good challenge at all. And they're actually going over to check on VAR to see whether it was actually inside the box. I think it's outside by the looks of it. The ref comes back with his decision and it is a free kick. Um, Andy Robertson there. Um, yeah, is he going to go in the book here or is he going to get sent off? He's walking very slowly. I'm not entirely happy with the way that he's walking here. No booking. Whew. When it red light, the red line came up at the bottom of four, no, he's been sent off. But Dybala now puts this one in low and gets the head away. But we're, we're sitting too deep. Come on, boys. Like, you know what I mean? Get out there. Oh, yes. And Latoro has managed to nick the ball. Can we leave? Is it, all he's got to do is beat one defender. Just cut it on the inside. Cut it on the inside. He has done a sense. Oh, he says it's straight. What has he done? Asensio is straight at Courtois. That was the opportunity there to get the equaliser and we've thrown it away. What a chance. And it's down this end and Dybala puts this one in. We get the header away by Lowen again. Casemiro has got the ball where it needs to be. Jordan Henderson now. Can he be a captain and lead this team forward as he surges forward? Don't try and do it all yourself. You've got to find someone in the box. He has done. It's Latoro. Oh, no, he's missed the chance. What an opportunity. Oh, it was a great save from Courtois, and he he had the like chance for the rebound, and he blasted it wide. Oh, I don't believe this! Don't believe this! So it's all over, guys. We do get a win, but it's not good enough. Um, we just that first half performance was terrible in the fact that there were just no highlights at all. We just I don't know. We just maybe it was just the fact that Real Madrid were doing really well in defence and, 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 and literally just you know, kept us at bay but as you can see we had we did have the attempts and stuff but I can't believe towards the end there we had two great opportunities to get that equaliser Asensio with one and then Latoro Martinez uh, just lashed at it and if he had just took his time wow but it's not to be this year guys no semi-final is where we end it it's going to be a Real Madrid PSG final it's such a shame, such a shame. So that injury to um, Trent, sprained knee ligaments, he's out to five to six weeks. So that's the end of his season um, as we as we know it. So unfortunately for us, um, yeah, we've got the 12.30 kickoff, uh, which is a little bit um, harsh considering obviously we have in the midweek game. It would have been nice to have like, you know, the 5.31, but not to be. We've got the early one here against Tottenham. We've got to, obviously because of that, um, we've had to completely pretty much completely changed the, the, the sort of like you know starting at 11 here we've got Allison in goal still we've got Reese James Lowen Declan Rice are going to be like you know the, the back four with Joe Gomez having to play on the left hand side the reason being Andy Robertson is a, on an 84%
and Regalon is um, out injured. So um, that is why Joe is going to play on that left hand side. Ruben Neves and Benton Core are going to be in the middle there with Naby Keita going to play in the cam. Asensio is going to play out on that left with Leon Bailey obviously trying to get that like in a match fitness back on that right and Latoro is going to be up top. As for um, Tottenham, we've got ex Liverpool player actually over here, obviously AC Milan as well. Um, Suso, um, he's going to be there. Any Anyone else? They've got a Nana in goal. Um, yeah, didn't really recognize anyone else. Like, you know, I mean, there's obviously recognized players, but what I mean is anyone that's going to maybe cause us, like, you know, a bit of a headache, but. You just never know. I think. I think the thing is now is is the team and is just going to be like down because we've already won the Premier League, and that defeat obviously to Real Madrid is going to hurt. Um, I just hope that these players, because they weren't directly involved, will just try and play better to try and you know get themselves a regular starting place for next season. So we are back at Anfield, yes, after we did obviously beat Real Madrid, but it just wasn't good enough, like, you know what I mean, um, on the over overall score. Can we, like, you know, hopefully bounce back here against Tottenham as Joe Gomez just throws that straight to Herdera, which is not good. Um, but Ruben now has now got the ball. Reese James now can surge into the box and has been taken down. That is surely a penalty. And hopefully now we can get off to a good start here. So it is Latoro Martinez, and he just gets it underneath Anana there. Wow, that's his 34th goal of the season. It's a shame that he didn't score in that Real Madrid game, but there we go. Corner now as Bailey puts this one in. Going for the far post, it's Lowen coming in and gets his second goal of the season. I think he was a pretty good signing, to be fair. We only paid like 4.7 million for him. I think he's been a really, really good signing for us, considering the, the amount of money we spent on him. And um, nice to see him getting on the score sheet there. Bailey again going in, trying to find Lowen on that far stick. And oh, there was a chance there for Declan Rice to stick it in. But he actually hits the foot of the post. We've got massive pressure here on Tottenham as Ruben Neves now puts this ball in. But Anana is able to grab it out of the air. He plays this out. Here's Twan Zabi now can like surge forward for Tottenham, who will, will try and get back into this game. Obviously, they are fighting for that, you know, like, you know, top four finish. So they will want to, like, you know, get something from this game, but they've not got off to the best of starts. As Ryan Sessignon now has to be forced backwards here to Ferrero. Played forward. Here's Hickey. Played inside, but it's not a good ball. And Naby Keita has cut that one out. It was a great chance here for us to push forward. What is Naby going to do? Is he going to go all the way? No, his great ball back here. Leon Bailey's in. Caught them out. Great vision there from Naby Keita to see Leon Bailey coming in from behind. I was actually... Didn't even notice him myself. Like, I'm looking at the screen. I was looking more like you trying to play it through to maybe to, to Latoro or maybe like switching it over to maybe Asensio. But um, no, he actually like sees the run. And Bailey, oh, great, just gets it inside that post. So here we are again on the edge of the box as Ruben Neves now has got the ball. Benton Court like, knocks this back. Joe Gomez now on this side, plays it oh, straight at Anana. I don't know why Joe Gomez is over on this side. Maybe he, or did he maybe take the throw in, possibly? Leon Bailey now with the corner, plays this one in. Lowen's coming in again. Chance here for Benton Court, hits the post. He's hit the post a couple of times in this game. This game should be out of sight already. Tottenham um, have just not turned up at the moment, or we're just like angry because of that result against Real Madrid. As Declan Rice now takes a little free kick back down in our own half here as Asensio now picks up the ball. Surging forward, still going. Goes out here to find Leon Bailey. He's in. Oh, thought he was going to get a second, but hits the outside of the post. That's another time that we've hit the post. Three times in this game we've hit the post. So a great first half. Shame we didn't play like that. <laughs> In the late game against Real Madrid, I know it's different opposition, and obviously, you know, there was more pressure on us in the Real Madrid game, so I get that. And we're obviously playing with a lot more freedom and stuff because this isn't like necessarily a case of like having to win this one, this is just a case of just playing it and hopefully, fingers crossed, that we don't lose it. That's more of what this one's about, so the pressure's kind of off us. And but Tottenham, yeah, even though they've had quite a lot of the possession in that first half, not really done anything with it. We have a free kick just down in this bottom corner. Joe Gomez now goes along with it over the top. Great ball, actually. And Latoro was caught out, like, you know, the, the back four there of Tottenham. But, unfortunately, his shot was a little bit poor. Throw in now as Gomez takes this one. Finds Naby Keita. He's, get, he's trying to win the ball. He's managed to keep hold of the ball. He's now come back here to Joe. Back to Ruben Neves. 
Neves now finds Benton Cole. We're being forced back here by Tottenham, but we're keeping control of the ball, which is good to see. Benton Cole now plays it out. Bailey heads it down, finds Reese James. James now surging into the box. Can he possibly pick out anyone? He's picked out Latoro, but it's blocked and got away um, with that one, did Tottenham. So going to rest in Joe Gomez, going to bring in Keanu Hoover on. He can actually play on that left-hand side. He's more obviously, you know, kind of similar to Joe in a way, like, you know, sim you know preferring the right-hand side, but he can play out there. So he's going to come on for, for, for Joe because obviously we're in control of this game. And um, we'll, we'll see how things like, you know, progress, but I won't make any more changes just yet. So here is Hoover on the ball as he knocks it inside to find Ruben Neves. Nice play here in midfield as Naby Keita now pushes forward. Plays it into Leon Bailey. Bailey now surges past their defender. Gets round the back here. It's going to come back here to Keanu Hoover. He knocks it down. Ruben Neves with a strike. What a hit. His seventh goal of the season and a great signing also for us. As you can see, Leon Bailey surging into the box here. We're still going. Was trying to maybe pull it back, but it's actually like got cleared. It came out to here to Keanu Hoover, and then it just lays it off and right in that top corner. There's no way you're saving that one. Great hit from Ruben. So I just want to rest Leon. Don't want to obviously get an, an injury and stuff like that. And as you can see, his his, um, his fitness just 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 dropping below 70%. So I'm going to bring Almada on for the last sort of five minutes there. So a chance maybe for Tottenham to get in here and ooh, that was close but um, just over the bar. But there we go, a very convincing win, four goals to nil in the end. Um, yeah, it would have been nice to obviously have had this score line against Madrid but it's like I say, it's two different sort of like scenarios, isn't it? You know, we've already, this game, it wasn't necessarily needed to win. We could relax a bit more, I suppose. Um, I think Tottenham will be a little bit agreed, the fact that they had 11 shots and only one on target. So Joachim Lowe, who is the manager of Tottenham, yeah, I don't think he'll be very impressed with like their, their front line there. Like, I mean, not doing very well for him. Um, but yeah, very convincing win for us. So, yeah, there we go. There's the obviously some other results, like, you know, um, as well. We've got um, Leicester, who have managed to turn things around, pull themselves away from that, like, relegation zone. And, and I would say, like, you know, and they're obviously, like, safe now. They were, like, they were, like, borderline of, like, possibly, like, you know, going down, but they managed to turn, like, things around. Manchester City pick up a win, which obviously keeping Pep in his, like, you know, his job um, just at the moment, managing to move themselves back into second. But uh, as you can see, Arsenal, yeah. Get to play they've got that game in hand so they could obviously like leapfrog them again that Tottenham defeat obviously against us is like helped Manchester United which is as a Liverpool fan not happy about um but yeah they've managed to like obviously like jump over um Tottenham and get into that fourth spot by beating um Southampton Norwich with a result over Fulham which is pretty much um sealed Fulham's fate now where are we uh what they got yeah I think those bottom three are all pretty much gone now um yeah it's it's looking like that way and um um yeah good result there for Newcastle over Everton they got beat Chelsea have had a really poor season uh, Bournemouth were were struggling at one point and they've managed to like you know scoot up like you know up the table after like sacking Steven Gerrard they brought in Bielsa and look what um, a turnaround he's managed to do gets them up like you know nearly into the top 10 position but as for Chelsea 14th that's an awful position like you know what I mean to be in like you know and um they've got uh, Roberto Mancini um there but yeah he's not he's not performing um very well for for, for Chelsea at all there we are anyway guys it's two wins, but it's a disappointment, yeah, because obviously, yeah, Real Madrid um, beat us 2-1 on aggregate to, to knock us out of the semi-finals, which means that, yeah, we, we've literally, all we've got to do now is um, see if we can, like, finish the, the league, you know, with, with regards to unbeaten. That's, i trying to get the words out, like, you know I mean? Tr we've got Newcastle, we've got Everton, we've got a derby there. They're, they'll be the team that will definitely will, will want to beat us. And then we've got Brighton as our very last game um, away, um, um, there at the Amex. Probably um, going to be the Everton-Brighton games. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, we are in a position to, to still like you know go unbeaten. But that Everton game, with it being at Anfield, it should be the game where we get presented with the Premier League trophy, which will be nice to rub it in their face. Um, but there we are. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate your support and stuff. You take care out there. Stay safe. And I will catch you on the sort of like you know ending of the season sort of a video isn't it like you know what i mean as you as you tune in next time but there we are guys you take it easy and um yeah it's dave from moon gaming signing off cheers